Hey everybody and welcome to a short tutorial on how to how to play yeah um Mario ROM hacks. Now essentially all that you need are three simple ingredients before you can actually go about playing a ROM hack. First is an emulator, such as uh, ZSNES in my case. Then you need the ROM itself, Super Mario World which uh, both of these you can find easily online so just google it I really can't provide any like specific websites for that stuff yeah, but for the ROM hacks themselves if you go to I think like Super Mario World Central I think it's called you can find god knows how many ROM hacks in there a lot of good ones some okay ones but you know in today's uh, tutorial I'll pretty much show off how to set up let's say Super Mario World um, Kaizo 1 so when you download a file from Super Mario World Central the ROM hack itself comes in an IPS file and I guess I'll just say that let's just say that contains all the information on the hack and the way that you're going to go about being able to actually play this hack is rather easy. Now, um, just for the sake of like um, neatness and keeping things nice and organized, just going to make a file, and I'll name it Kaizo One. And in this folder, I'm going to copy and paste uh, the ZSNES. The ROM itself, or I should say the original clean ROM, paste it in there. And then we'll take Super Mario World um, Kaizo 1. Very evil title, but hey, you know what? People get their kicks, right? Now, with these three things, uh, files I should say, in the folder, this is essentially all that you need, but there's one key step before you actually try starting it up. Now, the thing is, the IPS file has to match the ROM file itself, Super Mario World in this case. So, what you would do is just make it so you get to rename it, copy the title, Super Mario World, go to this, and when it's highlighted, just paste Super Mario World IPS, and then that should uh, make you all set to go. Now, if you click and drag this file into the ZSNES, we should be playing Kaizo 1. Am I right? Oh god. And... Alright, is this... Is this the real deal, or is this just a uh, vanilla Super Mario World? Alright, let's... Uh... Alright, so let's see, um, apparently my controller doesn't work here. You have to configure every... Sh and yep, that is Kaizo 1 indeed. So, you know, this isn't a let's play of, um, let's get our asses handed to us in Kaizo. This is just a short tutorial, and these are just miscellaneous files and shit like that. Nothing of any importance. But yes, that is how you would go about playing any ROM hack. As long as you have the IPS file, the SMC file, or the ROM itself just call it and an emulator then you should be all set as long as you rename the IPS file to be exactly like the ROM fi file god it feels so repetitive but yeah there's really not much to it I hope uh, this has been very useful for you and happy playing people